I'm an old retired Fortran programmer, basically on mainframe computers. Uh, late in my career, I, I became involved in Visual Basic, uh, working in the, with the Lotus Notes team. I'm certainly no expert at uh, Visual Basic, but maybe some of these code snippets will help uh, beginning programmers in LibreOffice. Uh, most of my coding here demonstrates some of the very, very basic things you can do in VB uh, at this page. Uh, what you'll want to do though to get more information is click on this link to Code Snippets document. And this document has uh, more detailed descriptions on some more complex tasks you can perform in LibreOffice. Uh, the demonstration I'm going to show you here is how to make push buttons and list boxes in uh, LibreOffice that will execute VBA code. And when you open the document, this is what it looks like. What I'm going to do here very quickly is jump down to this page right here. And this is what this video is all about, how to create a push button and list box to execute VBA commands. So the first thing you want to do is click on this example code link and this is the best way to do it. Control A cap captures all the garbage on the screen so you just drag it down to the bottom do a control C to copy it and close it out. The next thing you want to do is uh, link to a simple LibreOffice spreadsheet. So you just click that. It looks like that. And I'm using Google Chrome. I think it works well on Edge. Firefox is a little more complicated, so Chrome is what I'm using. Come up here to the download button, click that, wait for it to finish, and it's finished. Click on this down here, and it opens a spreadsheet. And I told you it was simple. Column A has the row numbers here, and that's in sheet one, and sheet two has the links to some of my websites that this. Uh, demonstration to show you the power of the Visual Basic list boxes in LibreOffice. So the first thing we want to do is come to Tools, Options, and Security. I can find it. Macro Security, and make sure it's set to Medium. Uh, otherwise, uh, the macros won't run because I don't have a, these are not signed macros. So you click OK. And by the way, when you have it set this way, it'll always prompt you, do you want to enable macros if you reopen the sheet? Save it and reopen it. So we close that out, close that out. Now then what we want to do is go to Tools, Macros, Organize Macros, LibreOffice Basic, and here's my spreadsheet right there. So I want to add a new module, and you can name it anything you want, but we're going to make it fast here. And we're going to select all that and paste in over it that code that we copied, and this is code that's involved here. There's not very much in this simple application, but the code I tried to have show you how you shell um, in Linux and run batch files in Windows. So we'll come back here to the spreadsheet. And now we're back to our spreadsheet. And I will warn you, Windows users, that figure out how to do it from the command line 
to access the temporary um, Windows folder to where you could see what was going on or even detect from the DOS prompt if it existed or not unless you went through a jump through some hoops so what I've done I took the easy way out and I create a C colon backslash TMP backslash directory a temp directory like Linux has and uh, if you don't want my code doing any writing to your computer don't run this application just uh, look at the code so what we're going to do first is create come here to the sheet one and we're going to create a button so what we have to do now is go to design mode click on that and we're looking for an OK push button which is right there and we're going to create it and and not very pretty so what we're going to do is uh, go to control and we're going to general come there to the label line and we're going to type in Display display all selected lines, and you see there are all kinds of options. You guys probably know that, and I kind of like to color mine up a little bit. If I can find color. There we go. Background color. And we're going to make this a light gray. See, I've colored my box in there. And the next thing we're going to do is click on the Events tab. And I want to execute an action. So we come over here to that line. Click on that. I want it to be a macro. It, Windows, I just love Windows. <laughs> just click OK, that error comes up every time. And come down here. Standard module. And we want this right here. For my examples, click OK. And OK. And we're done here. So close that out. Come back up here and toggle design mode off. You notice the little green arrows go off there. So now then, for the fun of it, we're going to select three rows here. One, nine, and 20. Click this button. And it says select row 1, 9, and 20. So there, how simple it is to create a push button. Now then we want to do some more robust things. So we're going to come over to sheet 2. And we're going to create a list box. So we click on design mode. Come over here to list box. And we're going to draw us a list box right here on sheet two. And in Windows, it does this. It doesn't do that in Linux, but in Windows, it always likes to worry you. Okay, so now then we have our little boxes there. Right click on it. Or left. Yeah, right click. Control. And on this one, we want changed. Anytime up there to map row, come down here, same old thing. And we want to determine option chosen. Okay. Now 
Now then we're going to come to data and we want to know what our link cell is. And our link cell I'm going to put up here where it says Genie's Indiana Wildflower page. So I have B1. And our range is, is going to be this whole thing right here. A1 to A6. So we're typing A1 colon A6. And in general, I just like to have all my stuff colored. And it's very helpful when you have big applications. The color code, which ones actually change data, which ones just sort it and all that kind of thing. And um, background color, we're going to make that orange. And that's a little too big. So, get a hold of it there. Shrink it up a little bit. And if you shrink it too much, the list box in LibreOffice will autom automatically put scroll bars. And you can play with that and find out what I'm talking about. So now then we click the OK button, or the design mode toggle it off and this is what it looks like. Well, I guess I wasn't quite ready to do that yet. But I'm with this on uh, our sheet one. Toggle that back on. Select it. And we'll control X to cut it. And come over to sheet one. And paste it in, and we'll move it to wherever we want to move it to. Uh, just move it there, just for the fun of it. And of course, you can see here, you can really pretty these things up if you want to. Like, if you want to put a title, you can just type in title here, and select all these cells. And then see if I'm going to find it on Windows. And then you can set the background color to orange. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. Control Z. And I want it to be dual color. Make it orange. And then you can adjust these rows. Make it nice and pretty. Like so. Good enough for a demonstration. So we'll toggle it off. So now then well, let's test this out and see if it works. Genie's Indiana Tree page. Oh, and looky here. I don't, there's no temp folder on my Windows directory. So this gives you a chance to bail out without my code writing anything to your disk. But since I trust myself, I click yes. This application requires temp directory. If you wish to create it, you can still bail out. Yes, I want to create it. Okay. It did its thing. And there it opened Genie's tree site. And Genie's wildfire site. And my railroad map site. I'm crazy about railroads is my wife is about flowers and we're both crazy about trees and that's all there is to it so that and then this one up here works the same way as this push button I'm going to select uh, three rows and click on that And spin through. So 
row 1 selected, row 10 selected, and row 19 selected. And that shows you how it works just the same. The beauty of these list boxes, uh, if you have complex, like I have one, I've got an application set up to pick stocks to buy and track my pitiful portfolio. And it's a pretty complex sheet. I think it's the neighborhood of 15 sheets and uh, probably has a neighborhood of 30 different list boxes like this that perform various tasks. Uh, so if you want to look at the code, you can come back here to Tools, Macros, Organize Macros, you brought off basic and then just click edit and you can look at all the code here and what I'm doing this is hopefully I've commented this enough to or make some sense to you and you notice some windows every one of these functions like getting operating system and all that had to be a batch file had to be created and then executed and those batch files are in the temp directory that we just created so if you want to save this you just close this out if you want to save the spreadsheet to where you don't have to go through all this again you just you want to save it as documents and we'll call that junk I'll delete it out and we'll close LibreOffice close all this out and come back into LibreOffice calc I don't know why I did that. Maybe I didn't save it right. You notice how this comes up. I have my security settings to medium, enable macros, and there it is. And it's all ready to go. There it open genies. Indiana Tree site. And that's all there is to it.